Hello! Today's devotional can be found in the topical guide under the word poor in reference to Exodus chapter 23 verse 11. That the poor of thy people may eat. Okay, so we have to be reasonable with our resources. We can't just take everything for the sake of having it if we don't need it. Because if we take what we don't need and just build up an excess, then some people are going to eventually have to go without. And people who go without simply because of the selfishness of others suffer. And people who take simply so that others won't have access to it, they're not generous. They're not generous, they're selfish. And selfishness is something that the Lord does not like at all. We cannot be selfish. Life is too short to be selfish. I mean, we're allowed to look after ourselves and make sure we're in a good position to live and to survive and to thrive. But if we are simply partaking of resources so that others won't have a chance to access them, or if we are doing things to stop others from succeeding, that is not a pinnacle of generosity. That is hate. Doing things and taking things simply so that others won't have them. And so that we can have a status over them. That's selfishness and that's definitely not in the spirit of charity that the Lord wants us to emulate. You see, all have a right to physical resources and all have a right to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. People can be temporally poor or spiritually poor. And if, if we withhold resources from the temporally poor, just because we think they don't deserve to have them, we are being selfish and we don't have the right to determine who gets to eat of bread and who doesn't. That's not our call. If we have the opportunity to give and we are able to give, we should give. Otherwise, the greater sin will be on us because we didn't. As for the spiritual part, we all have the opportunity to <clears throat> learn of the Lord's gospel and become knowledgeable in it that we may teach it to others through various means, even through our example, and that opportunity is always around us. If we learn of the gospel and become knowledgeable in the gospel, but we don't teach of the gospel, to others simply because it's inconvenient or we're scared. The sin is on us. And I mean, we don't have to lead people to the waters of baptism all the time because circumstances in their lives may not allow for it, but we can still be a good example and teach them by example how to be like Jesus Christ. And maybe someday a further opportunity will come for them to know who they are and love who they are and be able to come to Christ, because not everybody can come to Christ at the same time. Not everybody can come to Christ in this lifetime. But nobody will be forgotten. Nobody will be ignored. Nobody will be forsaken. But everybody has the right time for them. And sometimes all we can do is plant a seed of hope by being a good example. And teaching them how to be a good example in their lives to others and in how to handle difficult situations. The poor in spirit shall receive mercy, but those who are not poor in spirit are the givers of mercy and they have an obligation, a divine responsibility to give mercy and compassion unto those who are poor in spirit. If we ignore them and hope that they go away, then the sin will be on us because we will have had the opportunity and we didn't take it. Everyone 
the right to eat and feast temporally and feast upon the words of the Lord. If we, if we are not in need, then we need to help those who are. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.